Last night, a different story as the Las Vegas Aces lost to the Dallas Wings, the now 8 and 22 All Dallas right, Wings, man. the 18 and 12. That's our championship right there. That's it. That, in the season. That is literally it. Made me so Satu happy. Satu Savali, 28 points. There's your championship game. Congratulations right on your performance. That was beautiful. You have the Las Vegas Aces looking a giant hot mess, particularly because within the loss to the Wings, Asia Wilson dropped 42 points. Asia Wilson with a 40-piece in a loss for the Las Vegas Aces. And Asia Wilson once again rolled into that game in her white tee, in her sweats, in her slides, different sweats, maybe the same white tee, or you just got a box of them and you ripped it open and you took the next one out. She puts up 42 and the Las Vegas Aces lose. Now, the last time she rolled up in a similar outfit, she had the game winner, managed to avoid disaster for the Aces, are able to think maybe they'll be able to put something together coming off of that win. No, they lose to the Dallas Wings. To the Dallas Wings! One of the worst teams in the WNBA yes. right now. So we didn't talk um, yesterday when we brought up the, the, or the other day when we brought up the Aces game winner against uh, the Sky. Asia Wilson was testy in that game. Mm -hmm. That interview after the first quarter, between quarters, they talk to the players, and usually you don't get anything out of it. I'm not a, a huge fan, but every now and then you do. And Asia was like, yo, I'm getting fouled, and I can't believe they're not calling in. If I get fined, then so be it. I get fined, but this is ridiculous. Like, they, she is testy right now, and she's going out there and doing her job. She's doing what she's got to do. She needs some help from somewhere. And right now, where is that supposed to come from? Nobody has looked like they could be anybody who could alleviate some of the burden from Asia Wilson. Asia Wilson scoring 42 is incredible. It is amazing. But if you're not going to win the game, and I'm sure Asia would tell you this also, Asia would probably rather score 18 to 20 and win the game than drop 42 in a loss mm -hmm. to the wing, to the wings. That's, come on, man. You, the can't, you can't be that. The Aces have lost five of their last seven games. They, what are they since the since they got back from the Olympic break? What, like two and four? One, two, three, four. I think two and four. Yes. Yeah. No. What? Two and three. Two and three. Two and three. Two and three. Like that's that's not good enough, man. No, and you come straight off of you know a disappointing loss for the Seattle Storm, where it allowed the Aces to bump in front of them in the WNBA standings and we are now less than a month away from the WNBA postseason that starts September 22nd and it looked like the Aces could have the opportunity to jump ahead of the Storm into that four spot and instead they lose and now you have both the Storm and the Aces the Storm are 18 and 11 the Aces are 18 and 12 and it's two teams as we discussed yesterday who had all of the expectations on them this season who have fallen painfully short but the biggest thing for the Aces last night was just so indicative of what their issue is because Asia Wilson can't do it all she cannot do everything. They had Asia Wilson taking the potential game tying three at the end of that game. Like here, take the ball, please shoot it. You're the only buddy who, the only player who can score on this team. Take the three. She's not able to make it last night, but she still has 42 points. It has to come from somebody else. They just look so uncomfortable. They are so discombobulated. What the the aces that many of us watched for the last couple of seasons, who were just one of the most fun offenses to watch in the league, now can barely put together a set. I think it's because Chelsea Gray is working herself Maybe. back in. Chelsea Gray can get her own shot. The other players who you would think of on the Aces, um, they need somebody else to create for them. So when you get late into the shot clock, if you're playing good defense, and guess what, you're in the WNBA, they're playing good defense, it is hard for you to create for somebody else uh, and so you end up just ass out, taking bad shots, getting poor looks at the rim. Whereas Chelsea Gray gets the ball, and she can get to her spots whenever she wants to. She's such a big physical guard that she can go out there and, and finish at the rim. She got, of course, hit long sh shots. She's got a good mid-range mm -hmm. game as well. Chelsea Gray alleviates some of the burden from everybody else and makes their shots easier because she requires so much attention defensively from the opponent. The Aces are 2-4. Since the since the Olympic break, that Liberty game was after the break. Yeah, August. Okay, that was the first break. August. What you gonna call it? Yeah, the Liberty game, August seventeenth. Yeah, that's after the break. And the I've break seen some people try to bring up, like, oh, maybe they're they're tired coming out of the Olympics because all those players are so many of them with they weren't Asia, good in the Kelsey. Olympics. Exactly, they almost lost in the Olympics. Asia was fine. 
Yes. The other, yeah, I, the other one. Okay, same <laughs> story, same story, different <laughs> different venue. Yeah. Different so they, category. They got some to Asia Wilson out. was fine. The rest of the team was and I would loosey goosey messy. I would love to say, hey, listen, this is a wear and tear thing because I think that's some of it as well. You're talking about a team who has gone deep into the playoffs the past three seasons, champions the past two seasons, certainly. Um, they are that's that's just hard to do and hard to maintain with from a just sheer physicality standpoint. Your body needs time to rest. I would love to say in the offseason, they'll take a break from this, get rest, come back rejuvenated, and be be a better version of themselves. But, yo, this the W. They're going overseas to play after this. There is very little rest, rest for women's basketball players. So I'm not sure what you do from a roster standpoint right now if you're the Aces, but this isn't this isn't going to cut it. This isn't going to do. Their last two games, the Storm, second to last game, and then these wings. Uh, these wings, excuse me, the again. Sky. Is it Sky their last game? Oh, you mean coming up? No, their last games of the season. The oh, second oh, to oh last I'm sorry. Game, I thought you meant their last game they played. No, the, the second to last game is against the Storm. The last game is against the Wings. Positioning, and the Sun. Positioning is going to be mm-hmm. up for grabs. Um, those That last handful of games for them. And if you can't beat the Wings right now, what are you going to do when they legit have nothing to play for but your misery? And you're going to have two against the Fever. Who could be Coming jostling up. for where their positioning is yeah. in the in the playoffs? Listen, I just think they're cursed. I think the Aces are cursed. I think everything that happened with the Dierica Hamby situation, which Becky Hammond maintains that there was no mistreatment there. Dierica Hamby claims that she was put in a position to feel, at bare minimum, bad about getting pregnant. Uh, in at the worst like she should have had to clear her pregnancy with the team and now you're cursed because you're a bunch of women and we have to support women and the different difficulties that women athletes have versus men and sometimes you get pregnant the aces are cursed i don't make i don't call the curses i'm just saying i think they're you can't have asia wilson score 42 and lose to the wings and tell me the aces aren't cursed i would agree with you if they hadn't been doing this all year They've exactly, the, their season is cursed. Of the whole season? Yeah, yeah. They had no chance this season. Mm. We put the woman curse on it. The Jessica Benson Show with CJ Hurt, live every weekday at 8 a.m.